think the light's best over here. And now, a delightful reading by me, Barry Joseph, of a children's morality tale about the perils of badges. I invite you to relax and listen to this lovely tale. And by the end, I might just give you guys some badges. Franklin belonged to the choir, the chess club, the soccer, and the swim team. Tonight, Franklin was joining the Woodland Trailblazers. He could hardly wait to start earning badges. Franklin got out his brand new Trailblazers uniform. I'm ready to go, he declared. His mother laughed. Trailblazers doesn't start for two more hours, she said. You have time to do your homework. Franklin sighed. At six o'clock, Franklin said, we've got to go. Franklin felt all shivery with excitement. He ran ahead a little bit and called back to his father. Come on, he urged. I want to be the first one to earn a badge. Franklin sat next to Jack Rabbit. You sure have a lot of badges, Franklin said. I've been a trailblazer for three years, explained Jack Rabbit. Three years, said Franklin. I don't want to wait that long to get my badges. Franklin learned the trailblazer promise. He learned the trailblazer call. Ah woo, ah woo, howled Franklin. He learned the trailblazer handshake and stopped at Leader Fox. When do we get badges, he asked. Leader Fox smiled. We'll be working on lots of badges, he said. There's a swimming badge. I can swim, Franklin said. Can I get that badge now? We'll be earning that badge together, said Leader Fox, in June. June was far away. Right now we're going to make kites, Leader Fox told everybody. Then we'll donate them to Woodlands Daycare Center. By November, you all will have earned your community badge, he finished. Everyone cheered, except for Franklin. Soon there was a big mess. Who would like to volunteer for cleanup, asked Leader Fox. Is it for a badge, asked Franklin. If you can clean up after craft time for the rest of the year, said Leader Fox, you will earn your helper badge. The rest of the year, exclaimed Franklin. Franklin sighed as he swept up the garbage and then joined the others. He watched as Leader Fox put out glasses of milk and chocolate chip cookies. Do we get snacks every week, asked Franklin. Sure do, said Leader Fox. Hmm, said Franklin. Leader Fox called everyone back to the circle. This is our trailblazer staff, he said. Every week, the hardest working trailblazer gets to take it home. Congratulations, he said to Franklin. You are a wonderful trailblazer. And soon, Franklin and the trailblazer walking stick were marching home. Ah, woo, cried Franklin into the dark. You know the very best thing about trailblazers, Franklin asked his father. It will take me three years to earn all my badges. So. Now, I'd like to give you all the Franklin multitasking badge, but I can't. As Franklin lear learns, badges confer social capital in a community, and we don't have a badge community here. And badges should take effort, and frankly, most of you just sat there. <laughs> at the same time, missing from the story, badges should offer formative feedback, not just at the end, support youth's own personal learning trajectory, not just one size fits all, and power over the process, not just doing something because I control the microphone. However, I can confer the Franklin Good Badger Badge if you can do all of this on the screen in the next minute. So I'll just sit here and look at you all adoringly. 60 seconds. Forty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. And
And that's the end of the story, my story, our story. But it could be the beginning of a conversation. If you'd like to join in, please go to tinyurl.com slash Franklin Wants a Badge to join us. Good night and sweet dreams.